Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to another Super Monday Night Combat. Played a couple games, but I like this one. A lot of my re more recent games have been in Turbo Cross because I don't have a lot of time to play. Turbo Cross is real quick. In if any point you need to leave, you can leave without penalty. Okay, let's. Whoa! I have not actually seen the new replay. Uh, <laughs> controls. So they added rewind and other kinds of uh, fun stuff to the game. Wow, look at that. Just up in the air. Megabeth has the ability to rocket jump and it's just disgustingly good. Tundi, the way... Ooh. Man, this is just awesome. I wish I could get the camera to go a little bit. I could, but I don't want to mess with anything. Eh, Heartless Bob, Recruit, Canuck. Oh, there I am. The literal last one again in the list. I hate when that happens. Oh, well. Let's turn on the HUD. Press play. So here I am. I'm playing Carl. I like playing Carl when I'm in... Uh, this is regular Supercross. So this is the uh, not-so-fast, not-so-high-lethality, focus on staying alive and not killing yourself mode. Um, I can actually turn this up a little bit. There we go. I wonder if Fraps will pick up my volume bar. So here we are, my team. Um, I like going on the right lane because I'm very focused on taking out turrets. And w since all of the characters, I believe every one of the pros in Super Monday Night Combat is right-handed, you can stick your gun around the right corner of a wall and shoot at things. So the right lane is the easiest to push at the beginning. Um, it allows you the maximum coverage while you are quote-unquote cheesing the turret. I hate Megabeth. Oh man, do I hate Megabeth. Her rockets fire so fast, they do splash damage, they're so cheesy. But, oh well. She's actually really good in the early game, but um, her she doesn't perform quite as well in the later game. And then the Frosty the Snowman-headed character there is an assassin wearing an old, uh, one of the older... Fl I don't want to say flare items, uniform items, back from Christmas of last year. So whoever's playing that... They either traded it or they've been playing this game for a while. You can see on the right lane, we're kind of in a, a bit of a stalemate as far as pushing. Well, actually, we're up to their turret. And obviously, then in the left lane, they're up to our turret. I honestly have no clue who's over there. But I know that our assassin, our combat girl, and myself are here in right lane. So it might be a two-on-three situation in the other lane. And so they're getting pushed back as well. Unlike Turbo Mode, you can see that it's a lot more difficult to kill the bots in this version. Oh, there I get myself killed. Yeah, I think I should die here, right? I'm trying to get away. Yeah, then she gets me with the backstab. Jerk. Bots are much harder to kill. Um, even those uh, shady bots, they're the ones with the white head that look kind of like Johnny Five or 2XL. They take a, quite a bit more to kill. Uh, whereas in turbo mode, you can easily chop through them right at the beginning of the game because of the way turbo mode works. You start off at essentially 15th level as far as your damage output is concerned. So here, trying to deal damage. I found out, I didn't know, the prop hop, where he pops up in the air like that, actually deals some damage. So when, in this mode, when, now when I'm trying to kill bots, if I'm safe by my own turret, I'll feel free to go ahead and use it. <laughs> there, um, the... Megabeth rocket jumped over the wall. There are little uh, platforms on the other side that help launch you to the Annie platform in the middle. And I guess she was trying to rocket jump over the wall and then land on one of those platforms, which would save her life. But she missed and fell to her death. When she first did it, I thought that she was actually trying to commit suicide to prevent me from getting a kill credit. Because kills are worth more experience. And here I pop her off the map because screw her. <laughs> One uh, nice thing I like is that you can't... Calls me an ass right there. Um, you can't rocket jump as Megabeth if you're in midair. And that, good. I'm so happy. Our Cheston came in. I was being grappled by the assassin. Our Cheston, uh, one of his alternate fire abilities, he launches a banana peel that makes you slip. And if you get hit by the banana peel while you are grappling someone... Well, if you, yeah, if you're grappling and Cheston hits you with the banana peel, it breaks the grapple. It's so nice. Such a great ability. And uh, everybody in this game is so much better at it than I am. That's pretty much the main focus here. 
Uh, I do, I actually do pretty well in this game. I was surprised by how well I did. Here we've got a double Fuji push. That's really hard to take care of. As much damage as it takes to kill a Shady Bot in this, Fujis take forever to kill. So to be able to have the double Fuji, the one with the gold color is of course a purchased Fuji. Someone paid 500 to get that. Right there, I noticed Tank is getting owned, so I pop up my, uh... Ooh, I got that kill. Pop up my Junior to help deal a whole bunch of damage and then just start shooting her. And here I'm going to try and cheese the turret a little bit, so I'm trying to get where my splash damage deals damage to the turret. It doesn't do a lot because you're only getting the outside of the explosion, and the further you are from the grenade when it explodes, the less damage it deals. But it's a good way to get a little bit of damage in up uh, until your teammates come and you can push up a little bit harder. So here she's juiced, but she sucks at aiming because I don't get hit very often, not even by the splash damage. So I'm remaining a little bit aggressive. And I've noticed recently, I don't know if it's because of the new patch or if it's just something that, uh, the way I've been playing, I've died a lot because I've been uh, blocked by enemy bots. Like, I'm pushed too far forward, which is my fault. And as I'm trying to backpedal and get away, the, uh, the enemy bots block me and I can't move. I've even been trapped next to a turret with bots because I you can't jump over them or anything. With Carl, I could have. The character I was playing was uh, Robo Hobo, and he doesn't have a... Uh, he can't high jump like that, and he doesn't have a jetpack. And his other ability, I think, was on cooldown at the time. There I die again. Their assassin kills me. I, I don't know if she kills me again. She might. But I really hated her because she's... The way that she double grappled me there, um, before, the first time I died. Oh, their Wask got left. He'll come back, don't worry. Drop that. And here I go ahead and stand right in front of the, uh, Fuji until my health is too, you know, really, really low. Because I'm trying to save as much damage to our turret as possible. Unlike turbo mode in this mode... And Supercross, you can't rebuild turrets. You can't heal turrets. Boom! Managed to get grappled there. I mean, get a grapple. I'm really bad at getting grapples. Um, it's not one of my strong points in this game. And actually, a couple times I've had teammates in other games complain that I'm not grappling people. And it's like, not for lack of trying. I try to grapple. One... Oh, that was something, too. Um... I've gone to grapple someone, and they've gone to grapple me, and it's kind of like at the same time, and they've always won. I've never tried to grapple someone while they were looking like they were going to grapple me, and uh, actually been the winner of that. I wonder if I got... No, it doesn't look like I did. Hmm. I was, I was looking to see if I had stunned her, because that's one of my other things I'm working on with... Uh, Carl. I think I mentioned in one of the more recent Gunner games that I was working on my aim with the mortar. With Carl, I'm working on my aim with the stun because I'm absolutely terrible at it. Particularly with enforcers. Um, like Gunner and Tank because they jetpack up and I completely like throw my thing expecting them to fall back down but they just keep jetpacking and it stays up in the air and it just goes right underneath them. So I have to learn a little bit of the tricks about how to shoot it. The stun does have an area of effect when it hits the floor or a wall. So if you aim where someone's going to land or near where they're going to land, you can get them stunned. You don't have to hit them literally right. You don't have to hit them directly. Here I go ahead and call the Annie because it's been up for a little bit. What time is it? Yeah, the Annie comes up at five minutes and it's almost eight minutes in. So that Annie had been, un had been contested actually more more accurately uncontested for three whole minutes didn't even look like anybody was trying for it and now we got oh we took out that first fuji pretty quick i run for carl um in super cross i run massive air bot buster and over armor um and i like to focus a lot on uh, just killing bots and turrets I think in this game I go a little bit more pro-heavy only because their Assassin and their Megabeth were so jerky in the beginning that I had to uh, try and put the fear of God in them, as it were, by hitting them with a couple juniors and stuns and getting them to kind of back off and play a little more defensively. For my... Oh, he crashed, yeah. 
They're just saying that the Wascot came back, and so earlier he must not have left. He must have just crashed. I was hoping Artemis was going to continue out to the... Uh... Oh, do I get a double kill here? Yeah, double kill. I actually think I get a... It's a double kill because I killed two of them in succession, and then that was also a super multi-kill. Or just a regular multi-kill at that point. Because I've been on a kill streak, and that's not something I normally do because I'm so focused on uh, just killing bots. The only time I kill people is when they, they get in my way of killing the bots. Because Carl hates robots. I was mentioning something, but I forget what it was. Oh, um, as far as endorsements for uh, Supercross, I run um, ammo and reload. I run ammo because it gives you five... I, there, I thought I could jump up above the airstrike and get out of the explosion's radius, but it didn't quite work. Um, as Robo-Hobo, you can uh, blast yourself away. And as a tank or as assault, you can charge and get out of... Uh, even if the explosion is a um, ground zero, which means it's actually stuck to you and the, the rocket's coming right down on your head, you can charge at the last second and it'll miss you. <clears throat> yeah, I run um, the ammo and reload because ammo gives you five bouncing buddies, and those are the grenades. So you get to do a lot of uh, damage to the bots when they get stalled fighting each other. And then I run... I think that's pretty much it. Oh, and I think there's extra speed because I like to run fast. Because I'm terrible at using my prop hop. Grenade is one of the maps where I'm better at using prop hop. Uh, anything that where there's tends to be a roof, like downtown Spunky... Um, Loco Moco, Bullet Gorge. I tend to hit my head a lot because I, I aim poorly. I don't have very good map awareness. I will say, um, I mentioned getting blocked by the bots and dying a couple times. I've been dying like crazy because of um, walking into walls or getting stuck on corners. And one of the things I like about Grenade is it's so wide open that that doesn't happen to me. A lot of people do not like Grenade. They they hate it. They consider it a very bad map. And uh, some people will say, no, it's... Oh, they still haven't fixed the turret issue. They were supposed to have fixed that where it shows up in the right color, but I guess not. Or maybe I misread the, uh, the update announcement. Ooh, I got that kill. I wasn't expecting that. And these guys don't even see me, apparently, so I go ahead and just throw a junior into Megabeth and kill her. What am I up to now? I'm 8, 2, and 84. Still not at the top of my uh, list. And this is the part of the game. We're pushed up, but um, I stop going for bots, because normally I could just stand back and kill bots. Notice the shields on their rocket turrets aren't down, and this is where I realize, oh, the shield's not down. I have to kill bots so that my bots can move forward. And I have to kind of kill her or force her back so that my bots can get in the range. And there, now they've knocked the shield down. And so I do what I do best. I start shooting the turret. No! That's a ground zero. He hits it right on you, and so it deals uh, extra damage for it in addition to hitting you. Ah, scramblers, back off, run away. And he ground zeroes me again. Man, I'm like a magnet for those things. I'm actually a magnet. I mentioned... Uh, I know in the other games, for Combat Girls Combat Laser. Look at that. Wascot ran right through my juniors. Juniors have an area of effect. When you throw one out, there's a little shell around it so you can see what its area of effect. And I have noticed so many people walking right through my junior's area of effect and not being hurt at all. Junior's supposed to latch on and follow them, and it doesn't. Um, I thought when I first started playing SMNC that... It used to follow bots, too. But now I've seen that it'll only hurt bots. Oh, man. That made me angry. I don't think i die here. No. Yeah. Getting grappled while my Cheston is standing right there. I'm guessing the Assassin didn't see the Cheston, and then uh, the Cheston, fortunately, was paying attention and saw that, and so he started beating on her. And that made her run away once she uh, finished with the grapple. I honestly don't remember what's going on right now. Oh my gosh, they keep buying so many bots. I think by the end of this, I don't buy bots and I don't buy regen at all because I, I, I'm staying enough out of the fight that I don't need it. That, uh, I think I ended the game with 4,000 some money and that's after buying the Annie 
a couple times. I know at least once, maybe twice. Here, this Artemis is trying to shoot me. She's trying her best to get headshots on me. And so I just kind of stand there, and I hide myself. And this is what I'm saying. When you get to the uh, right-handed characters, which I think is all of them, you can just poke your gun around the corner, and the rest of you is nice and blocked behind the wall. And there, the stupid Wascot's chasing after my chest in, and then the assassin comes up. So I jump up here. Boom. Um, you can get up on... Ouch. And then I think uh, Artemis is right there trying to mess with me, too. So I pop my juice because in this mode, juice doesn't heal you to full automatically. But it does make you heal faster. So it is good for uh, getting your energy back. Everybody keeps running out trying to hit the button as much as possible. I can't... I'm not paying attention, so I don't know if maybe my team is actually trying to buy it or if their team is actually trying to buy it. I think I die here. No, there's not enough people. I might die anyway, but... Oh, yep, this is... I think this is where I die. Yeah. Four of their team are take are coming at me. They're just charging down the lane trying to kill me. And I'm backing up and I'm shooting and I'm throwing out juniors and I tried to stun them and I'm prop hopping and... Not a prayer. Just too much firepower coming at me. What's interesting, though, is while this is happening and they're all pushing that lane... Nobody is getting Annie. Annie, once again, has not been bought. Total Recoil. They added in the latest patch um, new vending machines. So there's Total Recoil, uh, Gobi Num, and uh, they changed Metabol Lightning. Metabol Lightning used to give you a huge speed boost for a short period of time. And it, the intention was, because um, they tended to be right by the spawn, that when you died, when you came back to life, you would uh, buy... Metabol Lightning and use it to rush back and uh, get back to the front lines as fast as possible. That upset me. That that uh, Fujibot is just barely on the edge of where the ejector would have hurt it, so I wasted my money. Um, but what was happening is people would push back into the base like here we are now, and they would buy the opposing team's Metabol Lightning and start running all over the place. And the thing is, it makes you much harder to... Uh, to hit when you're aiming at people because they're running so fast so they changed it now um, now it's a permanent speed boost but it's a much smaller I think it's a 20% boost to speed it also has the op um, that has the nice effect of making it uh, better for faster classes because before everybody got I think it was 250 speed and so slow classes like gunner benefited more from it I got that kill. Wow. I'm just getting kills without even trying now. Um, but now that it's a 20% speed boost, everybody gets the same per, uh, percentage increase, but of course faster classes are going to end up being overall faster. What else is... Okay, so then they have um, Total Recoil, which I believe adds damage. It increases your damage, and that's permanent until you die. And I think I kill Megabeth here. Nope, she gets away because there's too many bots in my face. And then Gobi Num increases your health by 25%. Again, it lasts all of all three of those now last until you die. And the purpose of those is to extend the late game. Because now when you get into the late game, you have more longevity and uh, you can buy these products to make you faster, stronger, and have more hit points. And so you can kind of do... See, there's me hitting my head. That doesn't happen as often on this map. I'm over half dead, so I'm, I'm backing way up, making sure that I uh, don't get hit. And I think I come up here and buy Regenital. Yep. That's me being smart and remembering that this is tur uh, not Turbo Cross. So I'm not going to instantly heal back to full for uh, standing by for five seconds. Take out stupid turret. Take out other stupid turret in a second. Cheston was doing it, but he was too far away. Now there's me. This is very dangerous. I'm actually surprised I'm not getting shot in the face at that point. Given how close it is. Oh no, he's going for my Cheston. Get up there. Missed completely with my uh, short circuit. And, oh. They've got their Wascot and their Assassin down there fighting our Assassin. Cheston runs down there. I can't use my... I can't use the Ejector. And I just wasted my short circuit, so there was really nothing I could do. So now I'm going to hop down, pick up this juice and shields and money, because 
you know, why not? Hop back up, and now I'm going to watch it. Throw. I don't know why I throw those down there. I think maybe I'm hoping I hit bullseye. Ooh, I almost killed myself. Maybe I'm uh, hoping I'll hit bullseye and get a little bit of money for it. So go back here, throw some stuff, kill some bots, get my bot buster up. And, oh, there's Wascot. Hop by Wascot. He tries to save himself, but he fails and he dies. Poor Wascot. There's their assassin. Throw up a junior so that it can hit her. Ooh, there's bacon, and Tank gets the bacon. Tank went down there only for bacon. That was his sole reason. Now here I shoot over there, and I immediately look back because I know that their assassin was there, and my uh, short circuit was off cooldown. So I decided to hit her with that first to stun her immediately and stop it. I don't know if the ejector was up at that point or not. I can't. I don't remember, and it just happened five seconds ago. There, I drop down. Start. I was actually not trying to buy the annihilator. I was trying to uh, hit the wascot, but I hit the wrong key on the keyboard and started buying it. Fortunately, my teammates killed him immediately, and uh, it all worked out for the best. And now we're pretty much in the last seconds of the game. Nothing left to do but kill some people, shoot them up a bit. And then go and attack their money ball for glorious, glorious damage. Now here, I want to make sure that we get more of our bots in here. Because the more bots there are, it deals more damage and it just messes around with things. I pop my juice so I can deal massive amounts of damage. And then I use my prop hop and I make it rain. Boom! Uh, people like... For, I like... I don't know why. I saw other people trying to die above the money ball. So now I try to die above the money ball. Do I taunt? I don't think I taunt here. I think I'm too, uh, too busy talking. But I figured that was a really good game. I did pretty well. I was 12-3, 11 assists, and I was second on my team for bot kills. So, that worked out pretty well. Didn't die too often. Their assassin, who I thought was really good at the beginning of the game, given, uh, how many times she killed me, or I saw her always in there causing trouble, ended up being a feeder taken uh, 11 deaths but she did kill a lot of bots and then of course everybody's got to be a crap talker at the end oh well until next time bye bye